Women's Equality Day is coming very soon. Diane Clements Boyd is the CEO of the Evansville Vandenberg County Human Relations Commission and the committee chair for Equality Day celebration. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. And your plate is full as always, but this is a very exciting and uplifting event and we're all looking forward to it. Absolutely. This has been an initiative that we've been working on for maybe a year and a half now. As you know, this was to take place last year uh, with the actual centennial uh, of the passage of the 19th Amendment. Uh, celebrating 100 years and because of COVID, uh, it was postponed. So uh, we're excited. Uh, it just really gave us more time to make sure that um, all of our community was aware of what was going to happen on Thursday, August the 26th, uh, and uh, had an opportunity to get their uh, groups together, individuals that may want to come together uh, and, uh, you know, celebrate these tremendous uh, women in our community that are doing wonderful things. And of course, hear from uh, Dr. Mae Jemison, uh, an icon, uh, particularly at this time where we see space travel uh, in the news. Yes, so this we're all looking forward to hearing her and I hear from others that she will absolutely blow you away with the presentation. I believe that she will. Uh, just her uh, background uh, in STEM is going to be an inspiration uh, to so many young women uh, that, um, you know, have the ability, uh, but maybe just do not see themselves in these fields. Uh, so I think that it's so important uh, for women uh, to see it because if you can see it, you can be it. Uh, so we want to uh, make that opportunity available, uh, give that exposure to uh, everyone in our community. Absolutely. And I talk about inspiring women. There are some women, local women, who have been named as and will be honored at this event. Tell us about the Albion Award winners. Right. Uh, the Albion Awards will be presented at this event. And of course, the Inspirational Leader Award, uh, Linda White. Uh, what a, you know, amazing woman in our community, uh, a leader in the field of, uh, you know, medicine. Uh, and, you know, we are just so excited. I don't think the committee could have uh, picked a more appropriate person uh, to receive this award and the Unsung Hero Award. Uh, now that will honor essential workers, uh, those those folks that were at the grocery stores, uh, at our pharmacies, uh, in our fast food uh, establishments, making sure that we received what we needed and that life has some semblance of normalcy for us. So I think that it was also just magnificent that the committee chose to honor essential workers as the unsung hero awards and you will uh, and they, they will spotlight uh, I believe five individuals uh, at the event. Well and I've read their script and read their stories everyone is going to be impressed with their determination to keep on serving in the midst of the pandemic so it's, it's all going to be a powerful day Diane can we can we still get tickets? Um, there are a few tickets left uh, but I do believe that there are some, and um, I believe that there may be a waiting list uh, mm -hmm. if okay. they if tickets are not available when uh, individuals uh, decide to get them. I would just encourage you uh, to not to wait uh, and get those tickets that are left. And if by chance there are not any available when you uh, go to get your ticket or uh, go online to uh, get your ticket, that you be placed on a waiting list. Well, Diane, thank you so much for uh, whetting our appetite for this event, and we'll be talking more about it in the next weeks. Thank you, Angie. We'll be back with more Local Lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.